Like many other people across this beautiful world, I pre-ordered the Apple AirTags. And on delivery day, well, it got lost and damaged. The thing that helps you find lost items got lost. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's, that's basically my life. Well, anyway, I drove to my local Apple store. Not really local. It's about an hour away, but you know, hey, that's, that is what it is. And I picked up another tag. Uh, the other one got refunded. So, you know, <laughs> that's pretty good. Now, I didn't record an unboxing of this thing because that video would have been 20 seconds long. It is literally a box and this thing just slides out. Uh, you connect it to your iPhone, similar to AirPods. That's it. I just saved you guys the whole video. So let's talk about this little magic hockey puck and uh, why are people so hyped about it? Listen, guys, it's just a tracker. Don't get me wrong. This thing has some pretty cool and useful features, such as being able to more accurately find it uh, better than any other tracker. But at the end of the day, it's still a tracker. You'll, you'll probably forget about it within the first couple hours of you owning it. <laughs> Apple claims that the battery life on this hockey puck is about a year long, and when it does die, you can easily replace it by just twisting the cap off. Now, the whole year long battery does really depend on how often you activate the AirTag to find the AirTag. If you don't really lose your stuff a lot, it'll last a year. If you lose your stuff every single day, well, you got other problems on your hands. <laughs> The great thing about the Apple AirTag is that it pings off of not only other iPhones in the area, but it pings off of iPads and Apple computers, which is another reason why it's just that much more accurate than other trackers. For example, Tile. Tile only pings off of other users that have the Tile app installed. Not really many people do. I mean, starting today, I think many people will forget about Tile and whoever has an iPhone, they'll switch over to this little thing. And since basically every Apple product has Find My installed, that just increases the accuracy again. In the app, you do have several options such as to play a sound or find it, which is, you know, that more accurate way. If you put it as lost, you can also enable notifications. So when someone else does find it, it will automatically notify you. Now, the thing that I'm not too happy about is the speaker. It's just not that loud. I mean, it's all right. I, I guess it'll do the job, but I promise you guys, if you lose this thing under your couch, um, somewhere outside where you're in a public area, there's birds chirping, dogs barking, someone's fighting down the street, uh, you're not really gonna find this with the sound. But again, you can always use that more accurate way of finding it as long as you're within like 40 feet. If you're not within range, you're not going you know, to be able to kind of, you know, use that feature. So just get pretty close to it, 40 feet, and then you can activate it and then uh, pray to God. The speaker on the Galaxy Tag, for example, is much louder. Like this thing is, is really, really loud. That's, that's considered, oh, yo, come on, chill. That's a very cheesy sound, by the way, but it gets loud. Speaking of the Samsung Galaxy Tag, this is the comparison in size between the two. The Apple AirTag is much smaller from the bird's eye view. It's also narrower and thinner. So basically the Apple AirTag is smaller in every way. That is the only time where having something small is beneficial. But everyone keeps saying that they're very impressed with how cheap these things are considering, well, it's Apple. And that's exactly my point. It's Apple. See, these things may be only 30 bucks or 35 bucks. I don't know. I forgot. I'll put the thing up here. Uh, these things may be that price, but do you guys see a difference between the Galaxy Tag and the AirTag? The, the Galaxy Tag has a hole already on it, so you don't really need a case to put this thing on. You just already put it on your keys and you're good to go. Meanwhile, with Apple, you spent 30, 35 bucks on this and you're like, hell yeah, that's a good, that's a good price. That's good. And then you got to go and buy a case to put it on your keys, put it on your bag, wherever else you're going to put it. Now, Apple does sell, of course, <laughs> come on, Apple is going to sell you their little, you know, key rings for a sweet, again, I think 35, 40 bucks. They're, they're more expensive than the tag themselves, which is hilarious. But again, I did the smart thing and I went on uh, Amazon and uh, this is like 
five bucks, six bucks on Amazon. Boom. There you go. I'm not giving Apple my money for something that they could have just easily put a hole in here and called it a day. Another cool thing is that when the iPhone senses that you're in a dark environment, the flashlight icon will automatically appear, which is actually pretty handy. You don't actually have to leave the Find My app to, uh, to you know, put the flashlight on or go into your control center. It automatically just pops up right in the center. You just click on it, boom, in case you're looking for the AirTag at night. That's a pretty, you know, that's a sweet feature, I, I gotta admit. So what's the range on the AirTag? Well, as I've said, it's it's functionally infinite. You know, as long as the AirTag is in some sort of proximity between any iPhone, any Mac, um, any uh, uh, iPad, it will basically ping back and give you the location. Considering that there are 1.65 or more, more than 1.65 billion active iPhones out there, just iPhones, we're not counting Macs or iPads. Well, your chances of finding this lost AirTag is, well, pretty good my question is if i'm a bad guy and i steal something and there is a, a tag hanging out of the bag i'm just gonna throw it away <laughs> i'm gonna take the tag flick it and just that's it I, that's it i just stole something very easy to do very easy guys if you're gonna put this thing uh, on some sort of expensive um stuff please hide it don't don't let everyone see it, especially that stupid. Um, this is turning into a rant. I'm sorry, especially that Hermes um, uh, case that costs 500 bucks. Dude, if I see that, I'm taking it. <laughs> if you guys want to see a video of my friend hiding the AirTag somewhere in my city and I use the app to find it and show you guys how easy or how hard it will be. Let me know in the comments down below. I wish Apple integrated some sort of AR functionality into these, you know, similar to the Galaxy Tags Plus but those are not out yet. So maybe Apple will take that idea and uh, implement it into the AirTags via software update or maybe the second generation of the AirTags if we'll even see a second generation. I mean, how much can you really improve these? You know, I mean, it's a very simple product. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is a very kind of a short video. I mean, it's a very, again, like, like I said, it's a very simple product. There's not really much I can talk about. It's a tracker, you know, come on. The iPads, and that's a very interesting topic. By the way, I did pre-order the iPad. <laughs> Stick around if you want to see that if you're new here. Uh, also, subscribe if you are new here. And uh, that's basically it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.